Hi there, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to episode 56 of Raise the Halt, the Aston Villa save. We have a lot to catch up on. We've had a lot of happen since the last episode. The transfer window has closed and I've been teasing it on Twitter. I've been teasing it last episode. We have a 60 million pound signing and it is finally time to introduce him. So there it is, Delhi Alley, 60 million pounds from Tottenham. We snuck in. He wanted he wanted to play European football. He was 93% rated by our scouts. He obviously wasn't getting European football at scout at, at Tottenham. So we've jumped in straight away. City and United were both interested in him. Um, so we went straight in. You can see 60 million. He's a little bit more than that in value. 180,000 pounds a week. That was what made me realize we need a bigger stadium than Villa Park. Um, but we have him. And he has made a goal-scoring debut. We'll get to that in just a second. Let's round up the rest of the transfer activity. He's the only in. We have a few outs, quite a few outs. I did say last time that Human was leaving. That's happened. So he's gone off to Burnley. So good luck to him. Um, in terms of other sales, hesitant, I'm going to say. Uh, Callum O'Hare, we've sold him. His contract was up. He wasn't going to renew. We got 3.1 going up to 4.6 million for him. Pretty happy with that. He was never going to play for us. Now the two that hurt my heart, Andre Green, we've sold him to West Ham. You can see 8.25 million. We have a uh, like a buy-on thing if he sells, is uh, sold for a profit. I didn't want to sell Andre Green. I still... I do regret selling Andre Green to, uh, to a certain extent. He wanted to play first-team football. We weren't playing with wingers often enough for him to be match fit and be good when he was playing, um, mainly because last season with the Europa League, we were playing him all the time. This season with Champions League, we've had to go with our full-strength team a lot more. He's just not playing enough, and he's on quite a few wages. He was on 30 grand a week, I think it was. So we've sold him to West Ham. And the other one is Keenan Davis. Uh, we sold him off to the baggies. You can see three going up to 3.8. And I think we have, a, again, a, a, if he sold for a profit, we have um, some benefit from that as well. He just wasn't playing often enough. We have too many strikers, basically. I've, I've bought too many strikers. We've just let him move on for the sake of his own career. Uh, again, with a heavy heart, he's, he's one of the Villa boys, but... It, he's gone, it's done, and there's nothing we can do about it now. Um, the other changes that we've had, just some of the young guys going out on loan. You can see Jonathan Robinson, promising keeper, has gone out on loan. Um, the two that I'm particularly happy about, we've uh, so signed uh, We signed Alex, if you remember, last season. We've sent him out to Sochaux on loan. Uh, Sochaux, of course, being our new uh, affiliate club. So I'm hoping he's going to play a lot of first-team football, get himself really up to speed and next season um, we'll look to bring him in uh, and then of course the other one is Jordan Cameron now this is one of the strikers and the main reason to be fair that I sold uh, Keenan Davis is because of this guy you can see he's just he's a better version of Keenan Davis so he's gone off to Rangers I tried to send him to Sochaux as well he didn't want to go there so he's gone off to Rangers he's going to do well at Rangers and he's going to come back in next season and I'm sure he will to score goals for us. Um, now, with Keenan Davis and with Andre Green leaving, it means that we've freed up um, spots in the Premier League squad as well. So for next season, that leaves space because Alex and Cameron aren't actually in the Premier League squad this season. So that's the transfer window. Let me know what you think. Adeli Ali, are you happy? Are you disappointed? I don't know how he can be disappointed. He's rated 93% by our scouts. So happy to have him on board, that is for sure. So as you can see, quite a few games since our last episode to get through here. Uh, first up was the Newcastle game in the league. There was nothing really happening for us in attack in this game, but a devastating counter-attack finished on the boo from the bench by Deli Alley in the 85th minute. Uh, I'm not going to say he paid back the full chunk of transfer fee because it's quite a transfer fee that we've paid. It's actually a Premier League record, um, which I didn't realize at the time until after we'd spent it. Um, but yeah, that was really happy with that. And then look at this, 6-0 against Watford. This was, I mean, the score says it all. We had eight players in the team of the week after this game. You can see uh, Williams, Wilson, sorry, went absolutely ballistic. Four goals. Gonzalez and Conti got the others. Um, absolute domination. It was just a wonderful performance. Then we played Newcastle in the FA Cup. Um, now, we changed it up completely. 11 changes. Um, we were second best in this game, but we did manage to get a replay. Keenan Davis got the goal. Um, but you can see it was a completely changed lineup. We did go with the wingers in this one. You can see uh, Morgan and Green played. And again, so you can see Green not having a great game. Morgan as well. We still have Morgan on the book. So, so we can play wingers if we need to because we would still have uh, Patrick Roberts who can play wide. People like the Boob and Wilson can also play wide at a pinch. Then came Manchester United game. Uh, we did our best in this, but we were just always second best. Um, you can see Wilson got an equaliser for us after Strutman put uh, United ahead. Lukaku got an equaliser, sorry, the go-ahead goal again before half-time. We 
tried. We just weren't good enough. Uh, it was at Old Trafford, so it wasn't the worst result. Then came the third game against Newcastle this month, the FA Cup replay. This was a really disappointing game. We made changes, though we did go with a slightly stronger team. You can see Bree played, um, Drenz Larson, Jake Doyle Hayes. There was a few first teamers that were in there. How do I explain what happened in this game? An Alex error cost us the first goal, which was just, it was brutal. Um, you can see match rating re represents that. Then we made the three changes, and then we had an injury before extra time. So we were playing with 10 men in extra time. They were just completely knackered, the players, and Newcastle scored. There wasn't much we could do, to be honest. We tried our very best. Uh, you can see the late equalizer from Keenan Davis proved to be his last goal for the club. But yeah, it was just a little bit unfortunate. You can see uh, Ahmed Zovic got injured, and we just... we. Were couldn't make a change. We were defender down. It was just unfortunate. Uh, so then we went back to the league. We played West Ham. And this was not as comfortable as the score suggests, but it was a deserved win. 3-0 um, was definitely harsh on them. We can see Gonzalez and Van Jongelen with the goals. Just as I said, decent performance, but not really a 3-0 game. And then we played Bournemouth, the last game before the transfer window closed. They never really threatened us uh, out to score a goal against us, but they did make it difficult for us. Again, it was Wilson with the goal. Just a sort of a routine 1-0 win, I think. We were never really going to concede a goal, but it was, it was iffy if we were going to get the goal. But it did come, and then we just kind of hung on. So let's have a look what this means for the league you can see we're kicked right to clear of Manchester City in fourth though they do have two games in hand it's looking as though it's a three-horse race for the for the title between us Manchester United and Arsenal that does make me regret a little bit not taking the FA Cup maybe slightly more seriously but as I said I think we were we were good enough to get a result in that replay uh, it was just unfortunate with the injuries um, so three horse race for the for the league and we're right in that. So hopefully we will get some results there. And of course, all these goals, the best of will be seen at the end of the episode in the goals of the month for January. Uh, so this episode, we're going to play Tottenham, Delhi Alley against his old club, of course, and then Liverpool. So two big games against two teams, Tottenham in six, Liverpool down in eighth. Uh, probably struggling a little bit, but um, they're obviously going to be very tough games for us. So let's get on with the Tottenham game here. Let's have a look at the team that we're going with. Golini in goal, Langley, Van Drongel and Kone, all very familiar there. Uh, ben Davies and Kone, uh, Conti, sorry, giving the width. Deli Alley in midfield with Jake Doyle Hayes as the ball winning midfielder. And then uh, not quite the Holy Trinity because um, what's his face? Gonzalez has picked up an injury. He's out for a few weeks here. Uh, so it's Roberts, Strands, Larson and Wilson up top. Um, pretty happy with the team. I'm sure we can get a result here. Okay, so we can see the Tottenham team here. Um, no Harry Kane. Now, Harry Kane is the guy that usually just scores for fun against us. Uh, now, I'm not sure if he's left the club, actually. Uh, no, he's injured, and so is Christian Eriksen. So that is a massive boost for us, isn't it? You have to say. So let's see what we can do for a team talk here. We are at home. The usual saying, of course, is let's do it for the fans. Could have gone better, couldn't it? Uh, and, of course, Deli Alley against his former club here. We have faith in you, mate. He's still looking stressed. Come on, man. It's your first game in front of the front of the, the faithful of Aussie villain here. Not a good start, is it? All right, let's go get the win here. All right, I can't believe Deli Ali's stressed the first time I'm showing him off here. So let's see what we can do. Let me know in the comments, as I said, what you think of, of Deli Ali and the rest of the transfer window. Oh, it's not a great start to the defending. Um... Yeah, as I said, it's a little bit disappointing that we've let Green and, and Davis go. More so Green, I think, because he is a good player and someone that we would like to have at the club. But if he starts making noise about wanting to leave, he's just going to become um, a distraction in the dressing room, I think. Deli Ali looking very nervous, looking like a complete waste of money right now, isn't he? <laughs> so let's see a little bit of light on highlights, you'd have to say, so far. We have had more of the ball, though, which is promising. We get another shout out, another encourage. All right, can we get something going here? Roberts picks up the ball. Oh, it's a bit of a lungy tackle. Ben Davies wins it straight back, though. Good tackle, son. Come on. Roberts, can he pick out a pass? He's got Wilson pulling out wide. Can we get a ball into the box? Remembering we have Strange Larson. Roberts. Oh. It's not his uh, forte, is it? The, the old headed goal. That would have been nice if he could have found Strands Larson for that one, I think. Um, so this is not going not going too badly. We just need a few more chances, don't we? Can we build from the back? Golini out to Lengele. Lengele looks forward to Ben Davies. Could be something going here. They're very narrow, aren't they? Oh, we're just 
We might need to play with a little bit more width here, I think. Deli Alley, go on, son. Picks out a beautiful pass for Wilson. Go on, son. Score that. <laughs> And that's what £60 million pounds buys you. What a pass from Deli Alley. Picks out Wilson, running off the shoulder of the last man. And that is 1-0 to the good guys. Questionable goalkeeping, though, you'd have to say. Good stuff, Villa. All right, still looking nervous, though. You'd think uh, at a pass like that would settle him down a little bit, but obviously not. Can we tell him to concentrate coming into half time here? No, we cannot. All right. We'll take 1-0 if we indeed have a 1-0 lead. Now, another thing we have to discuss, and we'll probably do so in the second half, is summer exits. Because we have a situation where our team leaders are Horahan and Yadanak, and neither of them are particularly good enough anymore. Uh, what's Rebrov say here? Do it for the fans. I'm going to say we're capable of better. And just calm. Come on. It's fine, Delhi. Just go out there and do your thing. And yeah, it's, and both Yadanak and Horhana are on quite the chunk of wages. I think they're both mid to 40 grand a week. So I think we need to get rid of one of them. Well, maybe both of them. But the problem we have is that we then lose our both our captain and vice captain in one go, which I'm assuming is not going to be great for the dynamics. I'm leaning towards... Selling Horahan because he does have a year after this left on his contract. We might get, say, five million for him if we're lucky. And then keeping Yadanak for an extra year just as a backup because he's happy being a backup. Whereas Horahan, there we go. <laughs> Horahan does make noise about not getting enough football. So if we sell him, keep Yadanak, let somebody else come up into that team leader position of Horahan, and then next summer, looked to just get you know, keep Yadanak as a coach. That's what I'm thinking. Let me know in the comments what you think. I mean, I'm obviously biased about keeping Yadanak at the club as well. Um, but that, that's my thoughts on, on what we should be doing. Let me know, as I said, what you think. Uh, it is sad, though, that slowly but surely the original team is, is leaving the club. I think if one of them leaves, it'll be just the other one and perhaps Golini. Oh, and Jake Doyle Hayes as well. He was there first season, wasn't he? And then, of course, we we had James Wilson on loan, but he wasn't a permanent member of the club. Um, let's have a look what we can do here. Patrick Roberts isn't having his best game, so let's bring Luis Felipe on for him. Drop Luis Felipe back into midfield, put Deli Alley up as the playmaker, and get back to it. The good thing too with Deli Alley is that it does give us a little bit of extra depth um, in that I mean, Lima is injured right now. Um, I think that happened actually between episodes. He had a relatively serious injury. I think it was about two months. Um, oh, come on. Don't get that Van Drongel and good tackle. Um, so what that means is that normally we would have Lima. Uh, we have four high-quality midfielders. Lima, Luis Felipe, Patrick Roberts... Let's come on, boys, defend that. Oh, we're like headless chickens here. Unbelievable. Um, so it just means basically we have we have one in reserve anyway of of our midfielders, and then we have Doyle Hayes as well, who is quite good, and then Joyce, and we just that was just such a stupid goal to concede. Yeah, go ahead with it. Um. Yeah, so it just it adds to the squad depth too in that sense, which is obviously good. You can see we have Felipe to bring off the bench this game. Come on, Strength Larson. So let's see what Felipe can do. It's a decent pass over for Wilson. Go on, Wilson. Go on, Wilson. <laughs> An instant reply from the boys. That is really, really satisfying. So let's let's well let's watch this replay first. Look at that ball from Luis Felipe. Wilson again running off the man, short of the last man, and just puts that away with ease. Uh, he's in a quite a scoring uh, form here as well. Okay, so let's let's make some changes here. Delhi Ali is looking 
he's still looking nervous. So let's bring Williams on for him. Pop Williams back here is a ball winning midfielder on defend. We can then put Doyle Hayes as a central midfielder and we can play Luis Felipe as the advanced playmaker. And then we have another sub up our sleeves, which we will probably bring on the boob for Strands Larson. Um, but we'll just wait a little bit to do that um, because it can be a time-wasting sub. So let me know too what you think of Deli Alley's debut. It wasn't his best game. He's played out better for us already in his short time at the club. But that first, what a pass for that assist though. So let's do the boob on for Strands Larson. And we'll just start and close this game down. Okay, so we're just going to lower the tempo, uh, keep the ball, stay on our feet, be more disciplined, stick to positions, just your general closing down of the game. All right, and let's, let's hope and pray that we don't give them another goal like we gave them that first one because we deserve this. We've actually quite, uh, played quite well. Uh, this is... I think probably the best performance we've had against Spurs, I think. Mind you, as I said, it's without Ericsson and Kane, so uh, and Ali as well, since <laughs> since we poached him. But that's quite a good win. I'm happy with that three points. Had more of the ball as well, which is nice. Uh we played well. No, we Okay, we'll just say well done. There we go. I would have liked to have won them against complacency. Yeah, uh, to be fair, that was what I was looking for in that team talk. But that's okay. It's a good win. The boob set for a pay increase. Wilson on form. And we will be back momentarily to take on Liverpool. Okay, welcome back. Now, you can see we've had some favourable results uh, in the recent games because Arsenal and United have both dropped points. So if we win here against Liverpool, we go top of the table. As I said, albeit Arsenal have game in hand. Um, or games in hand, won't it be, at the end of this. Um, but we can definitely go above United into second. What a season this is turning out to be. So let's have a look at the team that we are going with here. Now you can see it's Golini in goal, Langley, Van Drongel, and Kone. It's the same team. Davies and Conte, Ali, Doyle Hayes, Roberts, Strands, Larson, and Wilson. We do have uh, some tight players. So, I mean, Wilson is someone we'd like to take off and rest. Um, I wouldn't mind Davies and Conte getting a break as well. Um, you can see the Liverpool team here. So they still have that front three for Mino, Coutinho, and Mane. Uh, otherwise, though, it's beginning to look a little bit unrecognisable. Nathaniel Klein's still there as well, Butlin in goals. They did beat us earlier on in the season, so that's not ideal. Uh, again, do it for the fans, so that's what we'll try and do. Uh, unfortunately, do it for the fans isn't an actual option, Mr. Rebrov. So what we'll do instead is we'll say we're on a good run, go out and impress me, and then the old calm faiths to bring it home. And hopefully, Deli Ali reacts a little bit better this time. Looks like he has, so that's good. All right, let's go. <laughs> Villa Park, packed to the rafters again. If he did miss last episode as well, we have, we're have we leaving Villa Park, basically. So um, our goal is to get either the league title or the Champions League lifted before we leave. I think we have this season and next season to do that. I think it was 2023. So the end of next season is when we're uh, expected to, to be leaving. Which will be sad, obviously. Uh, now let's focus on things at hand here. Look at Ben Davies. What a defensive play that was. Read the pass like it was a book. Straight, no, Strands Larson. Come on, boys. Let's keep the ball. Looks like Liverpool's building here. Oh, ben Davies, you've let him run in behind that time. He gets the cross in. There's two men there. Golini has absolutely flapped at nothing, and that is just disastrous. That is possibly... That's up there with Golini's howler against Real Madrid, if you remember that, when he just kind of stood and let the ball run past him. He had just is developing a little bit of a tendency to... Well, what is that? That's unbelievable. I mean, it's almost you'd say it's a flaw in the game, but... That's really frustrating. All right, let's bounce back here, boys. Davies with the throw off for Patrick Roberts. Roberts round the corner ball for Wilson. Can he find Strands Larson? No, he cannot. You have to say that was well defended. Can we get that back? Davies is there. No, Langley is there. Infield to Doyle Hayes. Doyle Hayes back to Ben Davies. It's a pass into Roberts. We've got men flying forward. Doyle Hayes. There's got to be space over here to Conti. That's where he goes. 
spreading the plane nicely. Conti maybe back to Doyle Hayes as an option. He knocks the ball over the top. Can Ben Davies get there? He can. Can he cross it to the back post? It's a <laughs> It's the old Tottenham connection, Ben Davies into Delhi Alley, and what a finish that is. That's his first goal as seen on screen, he's second for the club. Good run into the box, that's what you want from your box-to-box -box midfielder. And he can play anywhere in midfield really, but I think I'm leaning towards him playing in that position as sort of his the first choice um, player, which is really hard on Lucas Felipe, who's been really, really good for us as well. Um... You know, maybe maybe we could look at maybe Patrick Roberts and playing a flat three in midfield, getting rid of Patrick Roberts. I don't know. We have so many options with Deli Ali signing. It's really promising. Um, we've cut that out nicely. We don't want to go and give them the lead back. But I'm really happy that this is the second game in a row that we've um, got a goal straight, or well, not straight away in this case, but really soon after we've conceded one. Deli Ali on the run. Go on, son. What a ball that is for Wilson. Go on, Wilson. <laughs> What is happening with Deli Ali? He's absolutely exploded into this game. Look at that run. He's taken two men out there. He's put a beautiful pass through for Wilson. It's the Holy Trinity, now a Holy Quartet. What a play that is from Deli Ali. And well finished by Wilson as well. So we're up in front. Wilson's picked up a knock. Uh, okay, let's not... We have Champions League coming up soon. Let's not, let's not play with that. Let's get him off. Bring on the boob. We'll play boob as an advanced forward. And let's hope he can knock in at some goals for us. I just don't see the point in, in messing around. If Wilson's picked up a knock, I wanted to give him a rest anyway because um, he has played a lot of games for us recently. So I'm not I'm not displeased to do that when we've got the lead. Let's just hope now that we can continue to hang on to it. Um... Ben Davies just picked up a booking strength. Larson's injured now. Oh, this is becoming not a good game for us, isn't it? Okay, let's think about this. Okay, what I think we're going to do is we're going to drop Doyle Hayes in. We're going to bring on Luis Felipe for strands Larson. We're going to drop him back in. Play him as a Cariello. I think that'll work. Just play the boob up top as a complete forward. And then, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit haphazard, but when you've had two strikers go off injured, this is what's going to happen, unfortunately. Um, the other option we could look at maybe doing is going to 4-3-3, uh, three, three. We can play Kakao, oh, because we don't have a striker then, do we? Um, yeah, so we're, gonna, we're kind of going to have to stick with this. We've scored with our two shots on goal. Um, it's going to have to be an assertive, don't get complacent. And hope that we can hang on here. It's far from ideal, you, uh, obviously, but let's see what we can do. They've lost Mane as well, so... They're not without their losses, although Alexi Sanchez isn't a bad option to bring on, although he's probably ancient by now. How old is he? 33. Lost a bit of pace. Still obviously a very good player. Um, Patrick Roberts has gone worryingly off form for us, which is a concern, obviously. Let's tell him to concentrate. Conti, ball in for Doyle Hayes. Knocks it back to Conti. Can he find? We don't have Strauss Larson in the middle anymore. Doyle Hayes... <laughs> A strike that is 60 million well spent he's a little bit of a shaky start against spurs for the channel but what a goal look at that foot through it in the bottom corner unstoppable so that makes it a little bit more comfortable for us doesn't it let's we've taught him to concentrate so hopefully that will be the case we only have one sub to make though which is a little bit concerning now um patrick roberts is not playing well i mean the Boob is up front by himself, so you can maybe understand that. 
Um, all right, Ben Davies is tied and on a booking. So let's bring on Tyrone Mings for him. I don't mind playing Tyrone Mings if we're in front. Um, but if to start him against, I think we play Chelsea next and then we have the Sevilla in the Champions League. So to start him in one of those games makes me a little anxious. Um, but in a game like this, more than happy to, to have him come on. Uh, and this is looking as though it's going to be a, another three points. What a season we're having. That's going to put us back on top of the table. We're top of the league. We're top of the league. Come on, boob. What has he got for us? Any magic in those boots? No. It's gone out to Mings, though. Can Mings pick out? He's gone into the byline. Can he pick out a cross? No. Well defended. We needed that second striker in there for that, didn't we? And even if they say score from this counter-attack, it's not going to affect the destination of the three points. Well done. Deli Alley. Thumbs up for that performance. What a player he could be for us. 9.3, two goals and an assist. Well, if there was any hesitation that he wasn't worth the money in that first game, I think we can agree that he has proven that he is definitely worth it. Well, on the back of Deli Alley, we have gone back to the top of the league. Look at that. Point ahead of Manchester United. Three ahead of Arsenal, even though they have a game in hand. If they win both those games, they'll still only be three points away. And we almost are assured ourselves of, fourth, of at least third spot, don't we? Because Chelsea's going to struggle to catch us. Um, so that's it for this episode. And what an episode it's been. The introduction of Deli Alley. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Because look at what we have coming up next episode. First leg of the Champions League. First knockout round against Sevilla. And we'll come back for the Everton game as well. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that. We'll catch you next time. And before we end, here are our goals of the month from January. Take care. I'm